As part of its modernization program aimed at strengthening its air force and enhancing its airspace defense capabilities, Sweden has taken delivery of its first JAS-39 Gripen E-Fighter jet. The first of a planned 60 aircraft was delivered to F-7 Satina's airbase in the west of the country. Representatives from the Swedish Ministry of Defense, the Swedish Armed Forces, the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration, FMV, and Saab attended the handover ceremony in Satina's. Regarding the delivery, the Swedish Armed Forces released a statement on its official X account, saying, We have officially taken delivery of the first of many JAS-39 Gripen E fighter jets. This is a milestone for our Air Force and increases our ability to defend our airspace. The Gripen E is equipped with a modular mission computer developed by Saab, AI-powered sensor fusion, and an AESA radar. All of these features enable earlier threat detection and significantly shorten pilot decision-making time. Speaking at the ceremony, Skaraborg Squadron Commander Matthias Otis said, This is a great day, marking the beginning of a new era in Swedish aviation history. The F-7 Skaraborg Squadron is the Swedish Fighter Aircraft Development Center. We are paving the way for the future. We are ready, we are excited, and we are taking action now. Swedish Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief Michael Clayson also made the following statement. This is a significant milestone in the development of Swedish defense. It is the result of long-term cooperation and close collaboration between the Swedish Armed Forces, FMV, and Swedish industry. The Gripen E strengthens our national defense capabilities so that we can counter future threats together with our allies. Swedish Defense Minister Johnson, discussing the capabilities of the next-generation fighter, emphasized the aircraft's advanced sensor equipment and its software flexibility, one of its most critical features. Johnson noted that the aircraft's software can be updated within hours, ensuring rapid innovation and flexibility. Furthermore, the fact that artificial intelligence capabilities, which have attracted significant international interest, have been tested on the grip and E highlights the aircraft's readiness for the future of warfare. I look forward to seeing more JAS Gripen E aircraft deployed in the Air Force in the coming period. While the Gripen E is being commissioned, work on the next generation fighter jet continues. Foreign interest and significant investments in research are paving the way for even greater aviation achievements in the future.